Boy, we're in for a treat today. Thank you, Gary Riz, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, all the way from Ottawa, Canada. Thank you, YouTube community, because today we're going to take a first glimpse at the 100th anniversary Mazda CX-5, all the way from Ottawa, Canada. So thanks again, Gary, for sharing these photos with me. I appreciate the uh, bond that we have via YouTube and that we can keep circling this Mazda information all the way around the globe. So we're going to take a look at Gary's pictures tonight. And uh, the 100th anniversary, of course, is one of about six models on the CX-5 that's available. And um, it's positioned, as far as on Mazda Canada's website, positioned above the signature. So... Um, I think it's got a lot of good stuff. Now, of course, I know I've had a lot of well, several videos on the new infotainment. A lot of you guys in Canada have been uh, very humble and uh, outspoken about the fact that Mazda kind of left you out of the new infotainment. However, yes, as many of you have mentioned, the GT and above, so GT signature 100th anniversary does have wireless CarPlay. Yes, that's right. Canada's getting wireless CarPlay. And the U.S., as I've had a bunch of comments and questions, unfortunately is not getting wireless car pay, play, nor wireless Android Auto until maybe 2022. But also, the 2021 models, as we're talking about today, have already trickled down uh, to Canada. So there's some 100th anniversaries around. And uh, again, Gary, top notch, my man. I appreciate it. And uh, so we're going to go through Gary's pictures here. And uh, as you can see, as Mazda Canada's calling it on the inside, uh, the red garnet leather. So uh, maybe a little bit deeper, uh, burgundy-ish, uh, so we think, so I think anyway, than the um, carbon edition that we have here in the U.S. Um, of course, their Curo edition is also uh, that red garnet interior. Uh, but one thing you'll notice on the 100th anniversary on this picture is they have a pure white accent uh, on the uh, armrest uh, or the center console lid and on the door trim or the door armrest. Pure white with light gray stitching. So that pops to me. Um, looks pretty good. And uh, maybe for those that aren't as interested in the red leather would entertain the 100th anniversary. Comment below if that's the case, uh, that you would entertain the 100th anniversary because uh, it not being all red everywhere. Um, of course, you can also see in this photo, and I'm, I'm hanging out here in this photo because there's a lot to talk about in this one picture. You can also see the uh, headrest embossed up there at the top with the 100th anniversary logo. Um, also, of course, uh, one that I'll insert here is the uh, 100th anniversary key fob on this vehicle. And uh, back to Gary's photos, um, you'll see the, the unique uh, center cap with the original uh, Mazda logo, kind of tying those together. And then, of course, the uh, badging on the outside, uh, the 100th anniversary, 100 years badge. Also, the turbo, Skyactiv turbo badging that uh, we will see in America. Uh, once on those turbo models, once um, they start arriving. And I'm, I'm really expecting right now that the West Coast and um, maybe some of you watching the West Coast can uh, give me a, a comment below to uh, let me know if this is true. But I think the West Coast and everybody that's supplied from the West Coast should have 2021s on the ground now or coming in the next day or two. Uh, again, as I uh, mentioned, our 2021s are actually uh, hitting port tomorrow. So uh, hopefully seven to 10 days from tomorrow, so the 10th to 12th, somewhere in that neighborhood, we'll have 2021s dropping here uh, in Enterprise at Mitchell Mazda, and uh, we will be able to uh, get some more information, get our hands on those vehicles. But um, again, comment below if you're in the West Coast or if you're a, a dealer or work for a dealership and you know that there's 2021s already touching ground in America. That would be great. Thank you very much. Uh, back to uh, Gary's pictures here. Um, you see that uh, you also have the front and rear parking sonar as he's uh, shown some pictures there uh, on the outside. So uh, a lot of good updates, a lot of good features on that. 
Also, the uh, the door panel is a little bit uh, questionable to me. I'd love to, maybe when Gary can go back, if, if possible, during the day and take some inside shots. I don't want to be uh, too uh, burdensome on you, Gary. But uh, they say that there's a painted trim on the front and rear doors uh, on the... Um, on the uh, inside and also on the dash panel. So I don't know if that's uh, painted like black, gloss black or what the deal is, but uh, just just curious what that would be and what color it would be. But a um, couple of other uh, things that we uh, know are on this 100th anniversary, of course, as you've seen, it's Snowflake White Pearl. And um, of course the turbo, as we've mentioned, is standard on this as well. Um, not sure of incentives up there for you guys in Canada. I uh, did see some things on your homepage that looked pretty good. Uh, but all in all, this is a, uh, a great uh, anniversary edition of the CX-5. And I think that it's something that if you uh, purchase, you'll be happy to uh, have. And uh, if you can hold on to it for a, a long time, that would be great. Uh, or if you drive it two or three years and trade it in, I think that you won't be disappointed in it. And again, thanks, Gary. Very, uh, very kind of you to share this with me uh, and the uh, the channel and the community here. So, um, you know, I love Mazda, love the CX-5. Uh, so as uh, you may have seen in the post earlier, uh, if you subscribe, uh, I've been posting videos for just over five years on YouTube, vehicle videos, and uh, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate uh, those who subscribe to follow and, and those that are uh, uh, have rung the bell for notifications. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, don't know. I'm tongue tied. I don't know what else to say. Uh, approaching 4,000 subscribers and uh, just really thankful for you guys and uh, thankful for everyone that contributes to the community, gives us uh, information to share and gives me a lot of topics for the videos uh, with questions and different things like that. So um, one last thing, comment below if you have any more ideas or anything you're really excited about, you Americans, uh, in the 2021 CX-5 when it comes out, or uh, Canadians, anything that you guys would like to see, uh, maybe some shared information that we have or equipment and features on uh, both of those vehicles. So basically everything except for you guys with wireless car play and us with a bigger screen. So um, thanks again for watching for this uh, information. 100th anniversary rolling on in uh, in Canada and other countries. So you guys enjoy those. And uh, I'll keep my eye out here uh, for some uh, local 100th anniversary Miatas and try to get some uh, footage and information on that when they start dropping. Again, I think there's about four coming in my uh, district here uh, in the... Uh, basically the uh the alabama and panhandle of florida area so uh i'll try to uh, be around somewhere where those are and uh, check them out uh, but until then uh, i really can't wait to see you and your mazda and you can always email me pictures of you and your mazda and they will make it to the channel i promise uh and that's jss tube the number nine so J S S T U B E the number nine at gmail.com. If you want to take some pictures and send them to that email, I will definitely put you in a video. And uh, if you have any name or any other information about your vehicle, uh, definitely year mileage, I'd appreciate that. And uh, we'll share it and uh, show me uh, your Mazdas. So uh, I appreciate it again, and I'll see you on the next one.